Hello everyone. This video I would like to introduce you the demo of Adam 4117 and Aki 1524. First, after we connect the Aki 1524, which is a device server, and we connect the Adam 4117 together, and let's first open the utility for the Aki 1524 which is a, a serial device server configuration utility. And we can see the screen looks like this after we open the utility. And uh, if we connect successful, we can see Aki 1524, the name under the serial device server. And inside, we connect the Ethernet port 1. We can see the IP address here. And then we choose the auto mapping from right click and I connect the ADAM module in port 1 so let's choose one virtual com, com port for example 15 and choose port 1 and map select ports click and wait for this a little bit and we will set our virtual com ports 15 uh, connect to the uh, com port port 1 okay after it's done Let's take a look here. We can see uh, the COM15 is connected already and set up. And we can see the IP address. And we can see the remote COM port, which indicate port 1 from here. And also we can see the other information, such as bolt rate or stuff like that. And then let's carry on to see uh, if we connect our ADAM 4117 to the uh, Aki or not. So let's open the uh, ADAM.NET utility. Okay, first, after we open it, we should refresh and see if we can get our virtual COM port or not. Uh, we set the virtual COM port as COM15, so later if we get the COM port successfully connected, we will see the COM15 show. Yes, it shows under the serial COM port here. And we can choose like setting here, bolt rate or stuff like that. And it means successfully um, apply the COM port already. So. Uh, this is how we used to uh, connect our ADAM module and with the device servers and we con connect a whole system with our PC or controller. Thanks for your watching.